we're going to be getting up and starting our own rave, and it's called Daytime Hours. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, because not all of us are young anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BandLab Plus Coffee. It's time to wake up, wind up, and queue up with what we should have done at 1 a.m., which is listen to this track because it is essentially a dance club banger. Instead, we're waking up at 5 a.m. and doing it on the other side. So while all the ravers are heading to bed or heading out to get breakfast, we're going to be getting up and starting our own rave, and it's called Daytime Hours. I'm just saying, you know, because not all of us are young anymore. So, today we have Acceptance by Yasmin Eloise. And it's a collaboration with Caius, whom you've seen on the show before. So, without further ado, to the lab! Let the music unlock your heart, it's time to collaborate, you're part of the family! to wake up, wind up, and queue up with another excellent band lab track. Over here, we've got Acceptance by Yasmin Eloise, who's at Yazella, Y-A-Z-E-L-L-A, out of Birmingham, UK, repping 52 followers, relatively new to the lab. And it's a collaboration with Caius, who's a seasoned lab user at Caius N-A, K-A-I-U-S-N-A. Let's take a listen. Honored to be able to have done a collab with Caius. Very 90s vibes for me, but I'm also getting that all I ever wanted, all I ever needed. Here we go. Yes! Mortal Kombat! So many great things from the 90s and even the late 80s here. I'm digging it. Thanks for the lyrics. I like the twinkly piano. Yes, so many great nostalgic elements here. Oh, that was a really good jump on that vocal. Be free. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. Change is certain, 
the vocalizing in the back. I love ooze. Ooh, nice. Feeling those harms. We let that ring out, that reverb just... Sounds like plate and hall, maybe. Um, this is a ton of fun. Both Yasmin and Caius. What a great song. What great vibes. Bringing me back to an excellent place in time with the sounds that you chose and the way you chose to sing it. Um, was it, is it, I'm gonna, it can't be Tears for Fears, but the song that I'm thinking of, All I Ever Wanted. All ever needed is here in your arms. Words are very un... Anyway, really got those vibes. Um, and then the other 90s vibe, that Mortal Kombat, like, electronic techno style music that's uh, just so good. Two things I love and one thing I want more of. Let's go. So the first thing I love on this track is going to be this hit here for this first part of the track. When we're building up here, we do a really awesome job of building, adding the doom, 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 on that snare. Doom, 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 doom. Now we're going to watch it evolve. Now we break into this 90s style. Let's go. When our techno stabs come in. So that's really great. We get the, the snare that's doing its thing. It's leading us in with the buildup, but the thing that I love the most about this, other than the 90s vibes, is that it does it does that really trancey thing. We're hashtag trance here, but it does that really trancey thing where it has that twinkly piano playing in the background with just a couple of notes here and there. So you've got the do in the background you've got do 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 right so these contrasting elements, this really hard-hitting techno style, and then this really twinkly piano, it just creates almost a magic to it that would not be there if the piano wasn't there. So good. The thing I like, number two, is uh, the second thing I love are these vocals. And Will, first and foremost, thanks for the lyrics, really appreciate that. Love the change is certain, but suffering is a choice. Um, that motif, that style. Can't go on living this way. Things can't always stay the same. Uh, change is certain, suffering is choice. Be free, right? So this theme throughout of breathe, be free. It would be easy if I did it the wrong way. I need to accept the grief. It sounds like we've lost a loved one and we are trying to find a will to live so the the lyrics in that space we start with them here and the music really gets out of the way and lets her sing Riser. And as she sings, the memories will always stay. The song is rising almost triumphantly. 
And we get some vocalizing going on back here. So we go on to get some vocalizing, some woes, as well as some harmonies in the vocal. The vocal itself, very great, very great feel for the song, really fits in with the track. A lot of times with uh, electronic music, the vocal can just be shoehorned in. And this one feels like it was made on purpose. And I really like songs that feel like they're made on purpose because we have a lot of beats these days. And I, as a songwriter, fall victim to, okay, this beat is close enough. Um, and you put your vocals on it and you're like, this is my vision, but it's mostly my vision. It's a little bit someone else's vision because it's their beat and it wasn't made for me. It was just made and I used it. So I like it when a song comes out and feels like it was made for those vocals. That's just a selfish thing as a songwriter. Uh, the one thing I think I want more of, if you listen to the vocal kind of throughout, but let's start in the beginning. If you listen to that, what you're going to hear is you're going to hear a lot of harshness in that vocal. I think we need to tame that top end. Uh, there are a lot of things that can do this really easily. BandLab has a graphic EQ. They also have a couple of different EQs, one specifically with just a high knob. And I don't know what they call it. I don't remember what they call it. But there are a lot of ways to, to sort of tame this top end. And if you're working specifically on BandLab, you're going to want to look at a, an EQ of some kind to kind of do that. Uh, the only other thing that I would really suggest is to add a lower octave double in there where you sing, if you're going to sing, I can't go on, then you also need someone in the background singing it one more time saying, I can't go on so that you can really meld the higher and the lower and forgive my singing voices. 5am guys, come on. Um, you can meld the really the higher and the lower. And that can help because some of that warmth will help tame some of that high end. But I think the best thing to do uh, would be to kill some of that top end. And it sounds like it's, it's uh, relatively harsh in the 1.6, 3.2. Uh, there may be too much air in the 6.4 if you're talking about graphics EQ on BandLab. If you're going to uh, another DAW like Logic or Ableton or Pro Tools, um, Cubase, Reaper, whatever you use. Uh, I would look at like multiband compressors. I would look at dynamic EQs that could really help. Um, and, or maybe putting your air on a send or an auxiliary channel and adding it that way. That could really help as well. So this song is awesome. I really, really enjoy the vibe. Took me back to the nineties and there is never anything wrong with that because to me, the nineties were a wild time. Loved them. Uh, Acceptance by Yasmin and Eloise featuring Kaya Sine, or rather collab between the two of them. Everyone should head on over to BandLab. If you want to hear more from Yasmin and Eloise at Yazella, brand new to the lab, let's, uh, let's get her up to 100 followers. And then don't forget to follow Kaya Sine uh, as well. They're repping 9.91 thousand already, so they are well on their way in their BandLab journey. But while you're over there, you might as well follow DJ Tatius on BandLab youtube or wherever you choose to consume your social media in the meantime i hope your monday treats you well and i know we are just winding into the week but thanks for waking up winding up and queuing up with me on another excellent band lab track and we will see you tomorrow <laughs>